Hi, this is Ray Horner for Horner's Corner, and today we go into the classroom in the schools with Akron Public Schools. The month of February is Black History Month. You're going to hear from principals, you're going to hear from a teacher talking about the curriculum and how the teaching of black history is so important to Akron Public Schools this week on Horner's Corner. Well, um, I focus more on teaching history. Um, because um, I'm the only African-American history teacher in the building. So I focus on first teaching history. That's, to me, that's the most important. Um, and then um, I try and bring in, like I have a, a video of the entire um, speech by Martin Luther King. Uh, usually you'll hear a minute or two on television, I actually have the entire video, so I've actually had the students look at the entire video, and um, it, it's extremely moving. Um, I could see the shock, I think, um, I could see the shock um, on some of the faces when they see for the first time the, um, the, the vengeance and the hatred. I don't think they really understand that because it's a different culture. Well, first of all, I know during Black History Month, one of the things I do, I, I, I uh, give several uh, bits of information in regards to famous African Americans, uh, not only just uh, what happened years ago, but even during these times. Also, I try to uh, encourage my students to uh, take a page from what Martha Martin Luther King stood for. I do it daily on announcements. Uh, they certainly have something to talk about. We talk about our president, Barack Obama. So I give them I give them stories of prominent African Americans right now. I also have uh, African American leaders come to my school throughout the year to talk to our kids, uh, to give them experience from an African American perspective. Uh, but certainly I also impress upon them that uh, no matter what their circumstance is, they can make it. I give them examples of prominent people whether African American or Caucasian, no matter what the, uh, their race, how they rose to be better people. Um, I think a lot of it comes from being able to relate to things personally. Um, like I'll mention to the students um, that um, I'm teaching history, but I'm telling it all. I said some of it is unpleasant. Um, when I would show eyes on the prize, the um, civil rights documentary, the cameras were running when uh, uh, history was being taught. And um, I, I would show the documentary of um, the, uh, the attacks in Birmingham. And I would explain to the students that um, it was a different time, it was a different culture. And um, I said today that um, we've, we've progressed greatly um, since that time period. Yeah, you know, as a matter of fact, one of my good friends who I've, I've had to come and speak during Black History Month as well, uh, we were talking one day, I'll never forget this, he, he had to remind me that I was a role model for kids. I was thanking him for coming and speaking with my kids, but he reminded me that I'm in front of kids every day. So I'm certainly a role model for all kids, and uh, I, had, I sat back and thought about that, I said, yeah, I absolutely am. Uh, when we look around uh, at the number of professionals, our school system, or corporate America, uh, we want to celebrate the success of everyone, and you know, more importantly, perhaps African Americans, because uh, we do have something to contribute, we do have a story to tell, and we are all, all are successful. 